everyone welcome back today i want to make a quick tutorial about how you can use this stabilization lockdown effect inside davinci resolve i'm going to be using fusion but if you haven't used fusion before don't be scared it's going to be very easy to follow tutorial maybe you have seen this effect on social media or somewhere and i think this effect is really cool so let's check it out well i'm on the edit page Make sure you have a large image because we will crop the image afterwards. It would be good to have a 4K footage to maintain image quality. I'm using a 4K footage for this tutorial. So now first click on your video, then go to Fusion page. Here you will see two nodes, Media In 1 and Media Out 1. First of all, go to your first frame of the video clip, then click on Media In 1 and press Control space and we will search for tracker effect and press enter it will automatically add to the node tree click on your tracker then we will change some settings normally I'm changing the adaptive mode to best match I don't know if it makes a difference but I use it like this after adding the tracker, you will see these two squares appear on the screen. We place the squares where we want our tracking to affect. In this case, I'm going to track his face. Make sure it's on the center. This outer box serves the same purpose but with less intensity. Adjust that as well. And then go to the track forward option and track your footage. And you will see a floating head. This is perfectly normal. Okay, our render is completed. Now we will go to operation and choose match move setting. And then under merge, I will choose background only. Our effect is almost ready. There's one last thing left. When you play this video, you will see your tracker is working, but you will see these gaps around your video clip. For this, we are gonna have to zoom in and adjust the position. So click on tracker one, press control space and search for transform. Then find a place where this area is most shown and resize your footage. Check for if there is any other gaps left. You can see our effect is working. So this is perfect. Actually, there is another way that you can achieve this effect, but I think it gives the same result. I didn't see any difference between two clips. Again, select your media in, control space. You will add a planner tracker instead of tracker. Again, go to your first frame, click on hybrid point area for the motion type select translation then you will select a point where you want to track so her face yes then track your video after the tracking process is over under operation mode select stabilize you will see that this will also create that stabilization you will still need to add the transform adjust the size and position so yeah that was it i think it's an awesome effect you should definitely try it on yourself the first one gives a little bit better results than the second one let me know what you think on that if you learned something new please consider subscribing to the channel thank you for watching until next time take care